card and don't make so much noise, will you? Yarders, will you turn off the radio? I can't stand that music there. Well, now, don't hand me that stuff, my dear. Play this game. I think you got into that dinosaur eggnog. That's a little too much there for you. Uh, there we are. Well, now, what are you playing there? You said you didn't have any diamonds before. God, parted woman. Who ever taught you to play this game in the first place? You sick. There. Oh, you keep out of it, will you? Keep out. It's just you keep out of it. You're all mixed up with old maids and things here. Just forget the whole thing. All right. Plenty more of this confounded king. Making me sick of my stomach, my dear. Will you carry on here? Oh, good evening, good evening. I, uh, I think Mayday was just a little bit too much for the old dear. Uh, she had a little bit too much of that eggnog, and it almost did her in. Gasport here. He's recovered rather nicely from his operation. The stitches are still available here, of course, but yeah, he'll be all right. He's grand boy. I, uh, I think you'd be glad to know that this evening, uh, I am, uh, out to set the world straight again, as usual. Uh, I read an article in that, uh, New York Times thing that, uh, <clears throat> they print some pretty loose stuff there, I think, in that paper on occasion, and they had an article there about the scientific boys and the famous Moho project, which is the digging down to the center of the earth, you know, and they've got the whole thing balled up, and I intend to, uh, go down there this evening and, uh, Perhaps we'll find the missing link down there. Who knows what, you know, but we'll, we'll find it, whatever it is. Well, by the way, uh, speaking of new and wonderful things, uh, we have this evening a uh, premiere. <laughs> Isn't that grand? This thing's called the... Uh, oh, dear, I've done it again here. Uh, the man uh, the man who lived twice. The man who lived twice. And this is a grand old story about uh, changing your personality and so on, that sort of thing. Though. And uh, it's... <laughs> yes. Yes, I know. Well, it's just grand to have these new ones here, and uh, it's a rare occasion these days. Now, of course, I want to, uh, providing the dear little woman that doesn't uh, get in my way here, I'm going to go on to this thing. While you're recovering from the shock of the new film, I'll just prepare things and uh, get the lecture set for this evening. Gasport, I'll hang up here. We'll get to you later, boy. And, uh... Premier, that's what that is. Premier, and, uh... Just grand to have... What, what in the... Well, now let... Oh, for heaven's sake, here. Uh... Science will be able to redeem such criminals and transform them into useful citizens. Well, that'll be all, gentlemen. Is she the one that you'll kiss nightly? Not with that mop. Look how unsightly. How about this girl? Her face is fair. But dig that hard and brittle hair. Will he choose her to do his cooking? Not on your life. Our hair is dead looking. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your whole house and everything that's in it. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Besides, I'm only following in your footsteps. You've always been interested in those cases. I always say you started me in my criminal career. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not much of a career if you ask me the way he ended up there, poor boy. Anyway, it's a grand other news story, isn't it? Just very comforting here to have OBC, ABC putting out here for us. Now, I've, uh, I've located the thing, but I, uh, <laughs> I got one more bomb. I might as well set it off just for the day after, the day after, uh, after May Day, you know, it's always a great time of rejoicing, and uh, I'll just let it go there. I'm uh, just a boy at heart, you know. <laughs> I love a little, uh, little... Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, now, uh, that takes care of that. That takes care of that. Now, I'll put up the uh, digging. There's several methods of digging, of course, that uh, are very important here. And I uh, seem to be a little, little hung up here on this. Uh, <coughs> My dear, you're not helping. You're getting fatter, you know. I accuse you of that every day of the week. Oh, dear. <clears throat> I haven't left you. I'm still here, and there's no commercial coming. I'm just in trouble, that's all. <laughs> you can figure a commercial out of this. You're crazier than I thought you were. All right, all right. We'll just wait a minute here. There we go. Now, I, of course, scorn the uh, 
There are several methods of digging down to the center of the earth, and I, uh, and you don't need that anymore. We're not going to send any more bombs up, so all over now. <coughs> yeah, it's lovely. What is this? Really exciting, I know. I'm just going to get my uh, tripod set up here. It's a four-legged tripod, which is a rather interesting effect, I think. <coughs> now, uh, here we are. <coughs> This is a little device that I've used uh, successfully many times in this uh, center of the earth dig. <coughs> and uh, I've, I've succeeded in getting myself completely hung up on it. Yeah, there we are. Now I, uh, I, uh, yeah, 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 as they say. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Of course, it's, it's all the more interesting because of what is supposed to happen in the next few minutes. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, now just a minute here. All is not lost. Just yet. We'll get to the commercial sooner or later, but not yet. Now, uh, I think maybe I shouldn't have gone through there. I probably... Maybe if I go through this way again. There we are. <clears throat> I've gone through twice now, and... Uh, yes, I'm free! I'm free! I've done it! I've done it. Here we are. Now, uh, let's see how the hoist is by this time here. I don't have any hoist trouble here. There we are. Oh, everything's free now. You see, we can uh, hoist away here like an old sailor fashion. Now, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, I was telling you how I... Uh, you see, I used the old-fashioned method to use gas for. He's a champion digger in his day. And, uh, yeah. That's right, boy. Speaking your name, son. Now, uh, I will just send him down here and get him started digging. We use this as a shaft here. This, uh, this box is very, uh, very good for the job. <coughs> My wife will kindly get over there in the corner. That's a dear girl. Uh, actually, I find, uh, I find the old-fashioned methods are much more satisfactory. And it's because, of course, of these uh, wonderful theories that I have uh, espoused here before you that uh, this program has been given the uplifting award. Uh, it's new. It's different. It's the new cotton bra, Playtex Fashion Magic Bra with Stay Firm Panels for personalized uplift. It's true. At last, there's an uplift bra that really conforms to a woman's personal contours. Let me show you. Now, of course, we all want uplift, so Playtex created these Stay Firm Panels made of a new miracle fabric that lasts and lasts. Then they stitch the panels to the base of the Playtex Fashion Magic Bra to lift you firmly from beneath. But remember, we aren't all the same shape. So the panels are left free here at the top to conform to your personal contours, give you personalized uplift. The result, in a Playtex Fashion Magic Bra, your figure is lifted gracefully, comfortably. And remember, these panels are made of a miracle fabric that lasts and lasts. Gives you personalized uplift for the life of the bra. Get a Playtex Fashion Magic Bra soon. Uh, now, uh, there are uh, certain theories about the shape of the earth, which I should bring you attention, of course, the old Columbus pre-Columbus theory of being flat and saucer-shaped and round and so on. And uh, <coughs> for all practical purposes, that has very little to do with what we're, what we're after tonight anyway, so I don't uh, you know why I brought it up. Except that uh, I do want to get the gas port in shape here. We're going to throw him into the... Uh, into the uh, moho here with a dig. Now, this is uh, a great experience for all of us. Now, uh, Gasport, I'm going to give you your uh, shovel boy, and I want to wish you well down there, uh, and do the best job you can, son. I, I'm counting on you to do the very best job you can. You just start right out from here, and away we go, right? Here we go. Well, you seem to have gone down a little... Uh, I was dumb enough to... Oh! Had a confounded disaster there. I dropped gas board through a kind of an old, old uh, tunnel I had there from some years back. I didn't uh, mean to get such a head start, you know. I... He's, he's well on his way through the mucko layer already. I've got it all over me here. I uh, just check on and see how he's doing here. <coughs> hey, get gas port! Gas port! <coughs> 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 
<coughs> well, these, these interruptions are just getting... I mean, we're trying to do scientific things here. Oh, all right! <laughs> I'd like to do these things the proper way, yeah. All right, boy, I'll hold up on him. My word, yeah. There we go. <coughs> He's down quite a ways, you understand. I have to... Uh... What in the heck you got here, boy? He's about 16 miles down there, and, uh, oh, whatever. She's rather... And where is that? This is very, very interesting here, what we've got. Uh, you've all heard about this, uh... Yes, I, I knew we'd, we'd hit that, all right. Right there, there's a whole lot more of it here, so you can stare at it. I think it's rather, rather interesting. Just, just look at that nest there. Isn't that sort of exciting, in a geological sort of a way? We have, uh... <coughs> We have many times heard about the seawater problem, people not having enough water to drink fresh water, you know. And, uh, of course, that is a problem. Uh, but uh, it could be quickly solved. I'll just uh, lower away here again. All right, take it away, boy, take it away. Watch the bucket, kid. We don't want to hit the head of it. There we are. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> uh, he likes to play down there, you know. He, not all work with gas ports and all. Uh, <clears throat> this is seawater, of course. You ready, boy? All right, man. Uh, the problem is seawater can be licked almost instantaneously once you get down to this lower level here because of the great pressure. And I will uh, prove the point. Here we are. <clears throat> now here, you may not believe this, but this is... This is... Uh, this is... Fresh water, under pressure, down there, all the salt is squeezed out, mind you. Now that solves the whole problem, it just got deep enough. And then of course these scientific boys will find that out in due time. But it, of course it would be very exciting if you could have this coming out of your faucet because then whenever you're thirsty, it comes so slowly of course, you'd have no leaking problems of the faucet. You just, you just cut yourself off a piece of, of fresh water, you see? You just lay that there. And if you're thirsty, you just, uh, well, you cut a smaller piece, really. I'm not that thirsty. <laughs> well, you just, uh, there's no really reason why I should drown here. <coughs> you just uh, assuage your thirst, you see, with a little, little, little piece of water. <laughs> what? What? You don't even know I know. It must remain our secret. We've got to be very, very careful. He remembers nothing about his past life. Look, Doc. I love that guy. I'd do anything for him. Anything. I believe you would. That's yeah, all very touching, I'm sure. I, uh... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had this much exercise in weeks. This is grand. All right. Oh, my word. We're deep in it now. We're deep in it now. All right. Uh, look at here. Look at here, will you? I think the old boy better be a little more careful what he brings up here. Look at here. Look at this mess here. What he's got here is an old... Uh, this, of course, uh, to any experienced eye, is uh, a very low-grade amoeba. There's not much breeding in this type. There's no good for uh, laboratory animals whatsoever because there's no body to them. You've seen us uh, do these things here before with the amoeba, uh, the amoebae. Uh, that's plural, of course. But this is not uh, really, really uh, very good. You see, it's just all... There's no, nothing to it. I couldn't possibly operate on a thing like that. And uh, it's account of the pressure, you see. The pressure change makes it just sort of disintegrate as it gets up here toward the top. I'll... Uh, I'll... Uh, sending down again, boy. <laughs> I want to see if he's on the ball there. Time to come up, I guess. Uh, hold it, man. I'm off the hook here. Dump my trolley here. Uh, <clears throat> I'll take it easy, boy. Heaven's sake, boy, what did you... I don't know what he ate, but he didn't eat the banana. <laughs> well, I'll save that. <clears throat> I'll just... Uh, I'll just sit down here for a minute, though. I want to, uh, while I'm waiting on the old... Uh... Take her down, boy. 
I'll just to go through a few things here that we've been... Now, I've explained to you about the mail situation being all rolled up as usual. <clears throat> and we get all kinds of packages, and I'll just take the time here to rattle a few names off here. Uh, there's one here from William McManus, uh, and uh, <clears throat> Alice and Marcel, and uh, Alan Breen. Uh, and uh, we'll open them sooner or later, but uh, that's the way it goes, you know. There's a fan club up in Hackensack, New Jersey. Uh, Gordon Basson, uh, and, uh... All right, boy! Wait, I got it! There we go. It's a pretty... All right! It's an emergency call there. There we are. Well, I'll be John. I'll just be John. Look at this! We got here the Darwinius Dinosaurus here. This is the mixing... Mix, missing link here. By heavens, I thought it was a fossil, but it's alive, it's alive. Oh, it's alive, it's alive. Oh, it's alive, it's alive, it's alive. It's alive. Oh. I'm ready, Inspector. I waited a long time for this moment. Look forward to it as the greatest day of my life. Now it's come, it doesn't give me the pleasure I thought it would. Well, I've been uh, looking forward to this uh, premiere tonight, and now that it's almost over, I, uh, <laughs> I'm rather happy about the whole thing. I, uh, <clears throat> this thing is uh, rather amazing. As I say, these, uh, these things disappear from the face of the earth, of course, uh, when, uh, I don't know why it was, but they disappeared. Actually, what happened was they had trouble with their eggs. I explained that to you last night about the dinosaur eggs and how they laid the big eggs, but the eggs are so dark and the dinosaurs can't see very well that they forgot where they put them, you know. And then eventually they got covered over with dust and things and they got squashed into the very tiny these days. Some few sneak around on top of the earth. Most of them are found down there under the big swamp hole. I'll just put this boy over because uh, he doesn't seem to be doing anything worthwhile. You may let go here, if you don't mind here. Look, come on, let's just... There we are, dear boy. He's got a grip on here, a death grip! <laughs> he hasn't seen the light of day in about three million years. There's no wonder he's hanging on here. There we are, old boy. One more little toesy here. I'll just put you over here in the sink and you'll be, you'll be very happy there, won't you? Eh? <laughs> I hate a grant, boy. There we are, boy. Just stay there and be yourself. The decision is in your hands. Shall Dr. James Blake pay for the crimes of Slick Rawley? How are you going to answer that question? Why don't you mind your own business, eh? You nosy rascal, you. I'll tell you about something else here. I, uh, I have my... Oh, yes, don't worry about the... Um... Hello there, old boy. Did you have any luck? Eh? Well, uh, I did want to tell you about the... Now watch it there, son. Just behave yourself. Your friends, you know. <laughs> you may have to give him some of that uh, solid water here to calm him down. Well, I wish you'd all get out of here, wherever you are, and... Uh, well, I look around for the bearing. This is a bad state of affairs. The thing's floating here and there. Oh, bearing, oh, bearing, oh, where to go? Bearing, oh, bearing, oh, where to go? 